Hello and thanks for joining. Today's topic is going to be a math tip and I'm going to show you how to both add and subtract while working with decimals. One quick thing I want to point out here is all of these tutorials will eventually be posted up on my website uh, which is www.10minutetrain.com and I'm going to walk through in this example of a demo of how to add decimals and subtract decimals. So what I've done here is I've outlined a couple quick steps that you can refer back to. So step number one when adding decimals or subtracting decimals for that matter is line up the decimal points in your problem and I'll show that in the demo that I'm going to do here. And then you just add the normal way from right to left column by column and then you add the decimal point in the same column in those numbers you were adding or in the case of subtraction you, you uh, carry it down and add it in the same column where you were subtracting. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to walk through this first example for adding the 5.793 plus 12.5 and then I'm going to walk through this example of subtracting which is 12.5 minus 5.793 and then I'm going to leave these ones here at, for your um, practice if you want to practice doing this you can um, do these two problems and I've provided the answers right there. So I'm going to jump right in here and we're going to do the first um, addition problem. So, okay, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to add 5.793 to 12.5. So I'm going to do plus. And then now I need to line up the, the decimal place. So I'm going to put it in this, add a column here, 12. I'm going to line up that decimal point and add the 5. Or, and put the 5 there. So now I'm going to carry the 3 down. So I'm going to add this as normal. Carry the 9 down. Now I'm going to do 7 plus 5 which is 12. And I'm going to carry the 1 over here. And I'm going to do 5 plus 2 is 7 plus the 1 is 8. And then carry the 1 down. So now I just carry my decimal place down. Let me finish that. And now my answer should be 18.293. Now if I'm going to subtract with decimal places, I'm going to go down here and do that. I'm going to go ahead and do 12.5 minus, and then my number that I'm going to subtract is 5.793. Okay, so now let me subtract like I normally would. Since I don't have characters here, I'm going to go ahead, or digits here, I'm going to go ahead and add zeros. And then I can't do 0 minus 3 and 0 minus 9. Let's see, 5 minus 7 and 2 minus 5. Okay, so what I have to do is borrow from way over here, so I'm going to take 1 away from that, which is going to leave 0. I'm going to make this a 12, and that becomes an 11. This becomes a 15 but I need to borrow one from it, so that's going to be a 14. That becomes a 10, but I need to borrow from it, so I'm going to make that a 9. And then I'm going to go ahead and make this a 10 by borrowing the 1. So now this is 7, 10 minus 3, 9 minus 9 is 0, 14 minus 7 is 7, 11 minus 5 is 6, and then I just carry my decimal place down and put it in the same spot. So my answer there is 6.707. Now jumping back to the sheet here, you'll see that um, those numbers should match up. And I've left these again, these two examples, as practice, practice exercises. So thanks for joining. Appreciate it. Take care.